Hi everyone and welcome to Case Flower Schools demonstration class. So today's class is suitable for beginners, either amateurs or people that just enjoy flowers for a hobby. I'm going to keep it really simple, nothing too, um, nothing too hard. So this is a simple hat box. I absolutely love these hat boxes. Obviously we bought it from the flower wholesalers, but you would be able to purchase one from your local flower shop. Now they come and they're plastic lined already. So the liner you can see there just comes out of the inside of the hat box. Now with this design, because the box closes, to be honest, it makes it really easy for transporting. Do you know that way? But you have to make sure that the flowers doesn't come up over it. Otherwise, it's like that on display um, in your flower shop. Or, you know, the way they can be awkward to transport if you bring the flowers up around it. It is possible to have it that way there as well if you want. But again, the water would be inclined to drip out of it. These are only cardboard. So again, they could get damaged. So we're going to make it that the arrangement is inside the box, which will make it really easy for transporting. Then when the customer receives it and they open it, hopefully they're surprised and they love it. And again, they themselves can leave it open, obviously at home for display. So next thing is getting the oasis cut or your floral foam cut. So if you have a full block of floral foam, large kitchen knife out of the kitchen press and then what we're going to do is cut this in half. There we go. Now you'll be able to do two of the half boxes. So you're then going to soak that. I have one soaked already, right? So here we have our half block and it's fully soaked. And a bit like if you were making, do you call them scones or scones? Okay, so again, comment underneath. So like you're kind of like a scone cutter or a, a cake cutter, just rest your um, template, you see, on there. Just mark it out. There we go. And then I've just kind of got the shape just marked out. Now you will need to cut it a little bit smaller than the shape just so that it fits kind of down into it. So I'm just kind of cutting that off, like not being real exact. And then I'm going to do the same down the end. And as I said, I'm cutting just above the line. This is all just rough, but keep the pieces you cut off. Like, don't waste them. So this is what I have so far. And now I'm going to try and see, will that fit down into it? I need to go a little bit smaller. So I'm just cutting another little piece off the bottom. There we go. We'll have a little try now. That's going to work out grand for me. So before you do that, just dry your hands. Hopefully you're wearing an apron like me. And I'm going to use a frog's leg. So this is what we call them. Uh, lots of flowers call them a prong. A prong is the right name for them. But here at Case Flower School, we call them frog's legs. And stuck to the end of our frog's legs is a little piece of Oasis Fix. Um, so this is like kind of a green stuff, which is a bit like blue tack. Anybody has children in school, you know the mola or plasticine as we call it. So what you do is you roll that round in your hands, you make it really soft, kind of the heat your hands makes it pliable. Make a little ball for yourself, stick it to the end of the frog's leg, don't flatten it, that's important. And now flatten it when you place it down into the bottom, centre area of your hat box liner, do you see like so. So then when you get your large chunk of floral foam, it'll sit down on top of the frog's leg and it'll stop it moving around, stop it sliding. And then the extra pieces that you cut off, you can just kind of like add them like little wedgy pieces, you know what I mean, in around the side. You may have to do a little bit of like cutting and trimming on them and then just pack them in. Again, you don't have to um, use a frog's leg for them and you won't need any anchor tape either. Now, if you want to use anchor tape, you can, but the arrangement is going to be kind of submerged down inside your hat box. So that's our floral foam. Can you see there? Fitting down into it. So it took a half a block of floral foam and now that will fit down into our hat box. So I'll hold that up there just so that you can see it. And then I'm just going to dry my area here just so that the hat box won't get damaged because as I said, it is made with cardboard. Now, for flower wise, I'm not actually going to use any greenery today. And as I said, I'm going to keep this very simple. I've done lots of hat box tutorials with you. And we also have an online hat box tutorial, which you can purchase from our website. Some of you may not know that. We have lots of standalone courses, you know that way. So if you're not interested in maybe doing our online programs here at the school, maybe you just want to learn how to make flower crowns or you just want to learn how to make hat boxes, or you just want to learn how to make a floral art. We have lots of these standalone courses on our website, flowerschoolireland.com. Now, with standalone courses, we don't supply the flowers, we don't supply the materials, and you don't have the bloom room. Do you know that way? So it's, they're not exactly the same. 
most people who actually attend our programs you will find most of the standalone tutorials are already included as part of the programs so for filling in this time with the flowers I'm going to keep it that it's kind of like a grouped method so I'm going to keep all the same flowers together right so you can go to your local supermarket, your local florist, and you can buy a mixed bunch. We're only looking for short stem flowers, okay? And any flowers we'll use. Today, I'm going to use a little bit of the oregano, a couple of lisianthus heads, a couple of roses, a couple of germany, a little bit of wax flower as a filler. And obviously, you can substitute these for whatever flowers happen to be in season. So again, if you were doing it in springtime, to do it in daffodils, tulips, and iris, it would be amazing or to do it in all um, freesias, maybe mixed freesias, or all the one colour, that would be absolutely amazing as well. Or for a wedding, to do it in all jip, that would be beautiful, maybe even for a wedding, or maybe even for an engagement, and you had an engagement ring settled, you know what I mean, on top of the jip. There's lots of, lots, lots of different ideas. Again, I'm sure you have lots of ideas, so place all your suggestions in the comments below, and throughout the tutorial, if you have any questions at all, just post them in the comments, and I respond to all of them. If you have any inquiries about the training programs here at Case Flower School, the best thing to do is drop us an email, info at flowerschoolireland.com. So I have a couple of short stem roses here to start off with, and what I'm going to do, I'll hold this up in a second, is I'm going to keep the roses quite short, so that when I place them down in the hat box, okay, so I need to take another little bit off that, that I will know that the flower then won't get damaged when I close the lid, right? So I'm just kind of hold this up just so that you can see it. Can you see the way it's right down lower than the edge of the box? So that way then I can cut all, once you cut the first one, you'll have a good idea what length to cut the rest of them. So I'm cutting these all short. So I started at the point there and down in that kind of like general area, I'm just going to place three of the roses kind of grouped together. Again, I'll just hold that up there just so that you can see it. But now I'm going to pick a completely different area altogether. We're not going to be thinking about um, balancing or dividing them up, you know that way. We're just picking a completely different area altogether and I'm going to place three of the roses in that area. So again, just kind of hold it up so that you can see it so far. Imagine this for Valentine's Day, completely filled with roses. Wouldn't it be amazing? And that box is coming red as well, by the way, in case you're kind of thinking. So now what I have is a couple of Lysiantus heads. So again, I'm going to cut them quite short, like using the kind of guideline from the first flare. So cut them all real short. I have about six of them, as in six heads, not, not six stems. And again, I'm just going to pick an area and I'm going to like group, like say two or three or four of the Lysiantus heads kind of together. And then in a different area altogether, I'm going to do similar. Again, I'm going to put two or three or four of the Lysiantus heads together. The idea is that this is going to be completely packed with flowers. You know that way we're not going to use any foliage. I will have a little bit of filler in between it. The next flower I'm going to go for is a couple of the Germanies. So again, I'm going to cut them quite short. Remember with Germanies, cut straight across. Don't cut them on an angle because you will find um, it's hard to get them in when they're pointed because they are a hollow stem. So picking a completely different area altogether, I'm now going to place a couple of them heads kind of close together. So there I have three of the Germany, and you can see this is getting pretty full now at this stage. Our next flower I'm going to go on to is the Erignum, or some people call this thistle. It isn't actually thistle, but it looks like thistle, okay? So again, I'm going to cut a couple of heads here, using up approximately two stems, just for anybody that's making a record or a list of the ingredients that I'm using. So between the Lysiantis and the Germany, where I have a little bit of a gap there, I'm going to put a couple of them heads kind of like submerged down into the arrangement and again making a nice group of them. And then over in one corner of the arrangement, can't turn this on the table, it's handy, forgetting that it's um it's the, the when the box is open. So again, I'm just going to place a couple of them heads down there into that little corner. Now I'll just hold this up just so that you can see it so far. And now I'm going to fill in is with little bits of the wax flare. And the wax flare will give us lots of different textures. So again, going to do the same thing, cut them all really short. I won't use all of this, just a selection of it. So we'll cut these up really, really short. 
and I'm purposely picking maybe the more open ones for the moment rather than all the little buds. Again, if you've watched me in other tutorials, I'm a devil for saying use up all the little buds, you've paid for them. And again, I do agree with that, but I just kind of feel for this design, I'm just looking for the kind of more open ones. So just randomly here and there, any little areas, maybe around the edge of the box where the flower is not tipping right out to the edge, or any little gap where one group of flowers is joining up with another group of flowers, and you just feel that you need something else, that's what I'm doing then with the wax flare, is I'm just adding that in. Probably could do with another two or three pieces. So again, we just cut them up. Your kids could nearly do this arrangement. Like once you cut one flare, and you show them the length, and you tell them like cut everything exact same length, they really can't go wrong. Now because the liner, you know the liner I showed you, you know the way, that will hold water. So what I should have mentioned this before I start putting the flowers in. When you had the floral foam sitting in the end of the liner, you could have actually placed water in it that it was just barely above the line of the floral foam. And that would keep the floral foam well watered. Now that's not, there's nothing to stop me pouring water in now, you know that way. And the box is not going, once you keep towards the center, the box won't get damaged, you know the way because um, again we have our liner and it'll keep the flowers really really fresh. Another little trick is the shorter flowers are cut the longer they last. So the idea is our box is closed okay so here we go there's our hot box okay and then the consumer or the um, customer receives the arrangement opens it up and there it is full of flowers. So there's your heart of flowers. I hope you enjoyed that tutorial. We'd love you to interact with us. So again, if you have any questions, post them in the comments. If you, um, if you could share this video, we'd really, really appreciate it. Even to give us a thumbs up, you know what I mean, or a like, or even to tag one of your friends that likes flowers. Hope to see you on some of our other social medias. And again, lots of um, free tutorials over on our YouTube channel. My name is Jeanette and I'm from Case Flower School and thank you for joining me today.